What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to fix an AVX error when playing a cyberpunk game and how to fix the SMT issues on AMD CPUs. Please note that I'm not gonna teach you on how to fix this issue using an any hex editor but instead I will share an easy way on how to apply these fixes. As we all know, Cyberpunk 2077 is facing a number of er errors and issues on PC and a lot of players are experiencing the expression error uh, an error while trying to play a cyberpunk game. This particular error pops up if you are playing the game on an old CPU that lacks the AVX instruction set. In this guide, I will help the, these players to fix this error and, the cyberpunk, uh, and run the cyberpunk game on a non-AVX CPUs. So before we start, please note that this is not a proper fix but instead a workaround on how to fix it. Um, and this fix may not work on for everyone, and but hopefully, uh, CD Projekt Red will patch the game in order in the future to make it work on the CPUs that don't have the AVX instruction set. So here's how I did it. So what you need to do, um, simply download this file, the AVX fix. Um, download link is in the description below. And once you have downloaded the file, um, extract the file and open the folder. And uh, simply copy everything here. So, and just in case you're wondering what's inside, so it's just a, just a you know an application or changes or a code that lets you I mean that automatically automatically applies the fix on the application itself without you needing to uh, use the hex editor to edit the codes. So, if you check the codes here using the Notepad plus plus, you'll see that you see the following code. So. We just need to enable the AVX, so it means that the AVX will be applied upon launching the game. So there you go. And um, you will also notice the let's call this. Okay, um, later I'll show you later what I meant, what I'm trying to say here. So let me close this real quick. So what you're gonna do here again is just simply copy everything inside this, inside the um, bin x64 folder. So let's open the file location of the game. So make sure that you copy everything here. Copy everything from this folder inside this game folder. So this is the path bin slash x64. Make sure that you place everything here. So I'm not going to place this one because I don't have any issues with the AVX. But instead, I'm going to show you what's inside on how to, how to see if the application or the patch or the fix has been applied upon launching the game. So simply head over to the performance overhaul folder open the text document here you'll see that messages said here is success meaning that the patch or the fix has been applied to your game successfully so if you're um unless if you're getting this type of error failed or unknown version so it says here well what I, what is the message trying to say here is that um you have already tweaked the application itself using any hex editor or you know um the application itself has been already modified you know, modified meaning the error has been fixed or you know depending on where you have downloaded the game so that's simply uh, that's the explanation to it all right so let me see so every time that you launch this application the um, the fix will be applied to it itself automatically so there's no need for you to edit it using the hex editor so I guess that's an easy way just uh, you know especially if you don't know the work around you know on how to um, use the hex editor although it's easy but you know if you're risk you know having some issues or doubts on you know it might work or not well this method is uh, the simplest way on how to apply it all right so let me close uh, this one and let's move on to the AMD CPU patch now the fix for the cyberpunk 2077 uh, performance on AMD CPU is rather easy we just have to alter one line of code however um, this fix has diminishing returns on cpus with high cores or thread counts so let's say if you have the uh, cpu with 16 cores uh, this fix uh, well there's no need for you to apply this fix well the process is similar on what i've shown you earlier just simply download this file amd cpu patch download link in the description and then extract it either here or to the um, installation or maybe I mean in the game folder itself but let's use the desktop instead and once you have extracted the file copy everything from it and 
Alright, so I'm not gonna do this because I already did this earlier. So just, just for the sake of this video, just g let me give you a short example. So copy everything. And just in case you're wondering what's the difference. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, open the JSON file with text editor. As you can see here, AVX is false because I'm running an AMD CPU. And the, uh, and the code it says here is true. So this, uh, the following methods here or the following uh, codes will be applied upon launching the game. All right, so let's make, let me glo close ahead. Let me sorry, let me close that out. Now, oh sorry, where am I? All right, going back. So once I have once you have copied the files here, copy, and then head back over to the Cyberpunk installation folder, installation path, and make sure that you have copy. You will copy everything inside the bin times xfold folder to make it work okay so once you have copied everything so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna paste it here because I already done it earlier okay so same things if you're ever wondering if the patch has been applied or not simply head over to performance I'm sorry performance overhaul notepad or text document and it'll tell you if the apply if the patch has been successfully applied or not once you have this message Alright, so when it comes to performance, by the way, um, I'm have I I'm using a, a Ryzen 5 2600 and a um, what do you call this an uh, RX 5700 XT GPU, and um, I didn't even really well, this fix didn't actually benefits me because I'm using you know an older generation GPUs. So if you have a higher end GPUs like the 6800 XT or higher like the 30 uh, GTX. Um, 300 or sorry GTX 3000 series so this would actually benefit you it will actually um, increase the performance of this game for up to 20% or 30 yes okay so I think that's it so that's it for our cyberpunk 2077 performance fix for AMD Ryzen CPUs and AVX fix for non AVX CPUs and by the way just in case here if you are facing other errors with this game Please let me know by writing them down in the comment section below. And by the way guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel grow. And until then, see you on the next one. Cheers.